most people know this now, but after uh, your professional wrestling career ended, you ended up becoming a, a bounty hunter. Do you want to tell us how you made that transition? Well, I was up in Connecticut, and uh, Vince had put out the word that anybody used me, that he would not help them any, he would not give them no people, he would not supply them any way, he disowned if they used me. So I figured, you know, I'm going to have to do something here. So I worked overseas a lot and everything, and uh, a guy that I knew come to me and said, David, you want to be a bounty hunter? Man, they're, they're begging for people to be a bounty hunter. They got so many people here that's wanted by the bonding companies and the law re-arrest warrants and I knew nothing about it but he said if you want I'll introduce you to some of the bondsmen. So he introduced me to one and they had a motorcycle guy that was supposed to be real bad and nobody wanted to go get him and I was gonna make good money on him. Uh, I think I was going to make four or five thousand dollars on him and they, nobody wanted to go get him so he was so bad, you know. I found him in two days and I had no problem at all with him. I stuck a 357 in his mouth when he turned the corner and he'd just give up. <laughs> yeah. And I said, don't spit on my gun either. <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, but I mean, you know, and then from that on, uh, f from that point on, I had people from all over the United States calling me, especially the next three or four years. They was calling me from California, Texas, or Washington State, different. And, you know, they think you can work badging, but, you know, people, you never get one that skip, like a person don't come to court today. They never hand you the paper and say, go get this guy today. They go and try to get this guy to turn himself in or go to the family, tell them they're going to sue him, take the house and the whole bit. It scares everybody to death. Now they got to really run him. Yeah. That's when they come to you four months later. Say, hey, I ain't got for two months. I need to get him in. And you have to start all over. And you have to get on the family side and and do all the work again because they done went out there and scared them to death, told them they was going to sue them, they was going to take the house, take the car, take everything they got if they don't tell you where this guy is. Most of the time they didn't know where the guy was. And if they did know where he was, they would tell you. Uh, most time the guy wouldn't tell them, uh, you know. But I had no problem. I mean, I always got in, and I, I don't think I ever missed anybody that I was after. A lot of times people would get picked up while I was looking for them in Florida, and they'd catch them in Texas. So, I mean, I can't help that. But the bondsman would pay me my expenses for what I've put out on him. Yeah. Because he was caught in Texas, and I was in Florida looking for him. Right. And, but that didn't happen a whole lot. <laughs> and for the people that don't understand it, basically, uh, these are people that are supposed to appear in court. They haven't necessarily been found guilty of their crime. Yes. But uh, they're guilty of missing their court appearance, and that's where the person that's put money to uh, to give them bail. That's right. Uh, they're losing their money, so they're paying you a portion uh, of the money they're going to get back um, for them to appear in order for you to capture them. Yes, and most of the time they're backed by insurance companies, big insurance companies, backs the bondsman, and the insurance company says, hey, uh, we'll pay the bond. We'll pay the three hundred thousand dollars if he don't come back. But the bondman got to pay him, so he's on the line for the money. He just don't have to put it out. It's all paper, paper trace, you know. Just, uh, but uh, if you don't get them in, I mean, I've seen them have other bounty hunters looking for people. Uh, they had to pay some big bonds, and uh, thank goodness mine. I saved them a lot of money. They made me a lot of money, so 